This is it? After Rome and Moscow, I was expecting something a little more... upscale. Maybe you should unwind after the flight. Maybe take a shower. Shower? Oh, this is one of those secret agent hidden entrance things, isn't it? Well, it was until you started talking about it. Sure about this? Positive. Trust me. Okay. See? What did I tell you? This. This is why I love you. You can send roses to my dead drop in Prague. Now that you've made it to Taipei, what are your plans? I sort of figured I'd improvise. I'll put an ear to the ground and see what I can find out. Don't you think you need a little more focus than that? I've got three leads to start with. This Stephen Heck guy seems like he knows what's going on in Taipei. He might be able to answer some questions. Be careful, Mike. I checked my databanks, and I can't find any evidence that Stephen Heck has ever worked for the CIA. I'll be on my guard. There's also that anomalous data trail from Shahid's system. Any luck tracing it down? I managed to follow it back to a place in the warehouse district. I'm forwarding the address to you now. What's the final lead? Simple. Follow the money. Shahid was funneling large amounts of money to a front corporation for the White Oak Mountain Triad. I think I can persuade them to tell me why. Sounds like you've got everything figured out. Isn't that why you love me? You watch yourself out there, Mr. Thornton. Always. I'm here to see the Red Lion. I'm a friend of the Sheik. Hong Shur, I presume? Nice place you got here. You know, I always wanted to retire someday and open my own restaurant. Maybe a little sandwich shop. Who are you? And why are you wasting my time? Oh, sorry. The name's Mike Thornton. What is it you want from me, Mr. Thornton? I have no interest in bantering with an American cowboy. It upsets my digestion. Please, get to the point. Someone is planning to assassinate Ronald's son. You've been receiving transfers of funds from Shahid. I'd be willing to pay to see if these two facts are connected. Hmm, interesting. I admire a man who presents a business proposal clearly and succinctly. Mr. Thornton? A man in my position does not get to be a man in my position without knowing the value of a good trade. I can understand that. I suppose the question is what you need. 
Uh, some of my lieutenants seem to think they would do better without my loving guidance and gentle hand. They have set up shop in a disreputable part of town. Now, if you were to discourage them, I will tell you what I know. You don't even know me. Why trust me with something like this? Why not use your own people? My own people are known to these rogues. You, on the other hand, look enough like an ignorant white old tourist that they might only mug you. Well, when you put it that way, it's hard to argue. All right, Mr. Hong. <laughs> I knew you would see the wisdom of this deal, Mr. Thornton. Uh, contact me again when my wayward children have been dealt with, huh? Oh, and Mr. Thornton. Yeah? Don't call me Mr. Hong.